Google Sheets Creating a Gradebook. This video features instructions for using Google Sheets to create a gradebook. For this assignment, you will use your AU Gmail and Google Drive accounts. Begin this project with a blank Google Sheet. You will be able to view your AU login name on the top right corner above the menu. Name the sheet by clicking on the text on Titled Spreadsheet. Name your gradebook and hit enter on your keyboard. Notice that it is saving and now all changes are saved in Drive. This step enables autosave and it will monitor and save progress as you work. Start by entering the required gradebook information into your open sheet. Identify and name each column. Begin with student names and enter the students. If you find the names are longer than the column, Take time to adjust column width and your data display. For quick column adjustments, you can click and hold and select the first column, then drag and select all the columns you will use in your gradebook. Once highlighted, right-click and resize your columns. Have it fit data or enema column width that you would like to have. Click OK to continue. You may also consider how you want data displayed in each column. With the columns highlighted, you can choose horizontal alignment and vertical alignment. Keep in mind you can make adjustments at any time. Continue setup by designating columns for five assignments. Then enter assignment data. Finish this area by adding a column for assignment totals and grades for the grading skill that will be used with the IF function. You will also need to create a final area that features the functions of maximum, minimum, and average for grades. With data in place, there are two basic ways to use functions in Sheets. You may use the function icon or use the menu and select Insert and Function to view available predetermined functions. To calculate your totals or sum, select the cell located on total. Click Function, choose Sum, and highlight the areas you want to sum. Click Enter to apply. Use this process to complete all the other totals or you may drag and drop the same function to your other items. Highlight the total. When the mouse becomes an X, click and drag. The function will then be applied. Use these same steps for applying maximum, minimum, and average. Select the cell next to maximum. Choose max as the function. Select the items. Hit enter. Select and drag. the elements in place, take time to make your gradebook visually appealing. You can adjust font size, style, and presentation. You may also choose color and be sure all selections of color are readable. Changing the font size, changing the font style. You may also consider using bold or italics. Use shading or fill color to help highlight the data in your gradebook. For example, select the header row and click fill color. You can choose a custom color or use alternating colors. When you finish, 
click Done to apply the colors. You may need to adjust the text in your layout. Changing the text from black to white makes it easier to read. Be sure to add borders. Highlight the area and choose borders. Be sure to update the maximum, minimum, and average area as well. Take time to name this tab before continuing. Click the arrow next to where it says Sheet 1 and choose Rename. Rename your tab. Click Enter to apply. Be sure that the name you choose corresponds with the gradebook data that you are entering. Within the gradebook, you will create a chart to provide visual representation of your data. Highlight the data you would like to include and choose Insert, Chart. The Chart Wizard will open and recommend a chart. You can click Chart Types to view others and also notice you're able to customize the information. For instance, something you may want to add to your chart are data labels. Select Value to see the value for each item. When you're finished, select Insert. Be sure to move your inserted chart away from the raw data. Click, Select, and Move. Keep in mind if you don't like how it displays, there are also additional options you can view more, and you can still quick edit the items in your chart. A second gradebook sheet is required. To add another sheet, select the plus sign. Rename the sheet and enter all the required data. For the second sheet, you must use a different type of chart. Choose Students, Assignment 1, and Assignment 2. Insert, Chart. This time I'm going to choose a scatter graph and I'm going to take time to customize the name and the chart title. Insert the chart and adjust the location in the graph. Remember to choose a chart option that best depicts the graph and the data you are trying to represent. The final step for this gradebook project is to assign grades using an IF function. You may use the IF supplied in the course module if your grades are based on a 100 point assessment scale. You may also create your own using the More function. If needed, you may choose to adapt the IF provided to meet your project point values. This example uses the IF statement provided in the module. In the grade column, select the first cell. Paste the IF statement in the function bar. You will need the backspace to fit it in. Hit Enter, and the function is applied. The student earned a B. Drag to submit to all the others. The grading scale has been applied to the math sheet. The same process will work in the reading sheet. When you are satisfied with your project, you will need to create a public shared link. Click on the share button located in the top right corner of the page. Select Get Shareable Link. You will need to adjust the options. Choose More and On Anyone with Link. This one will allow anyone who has the link to access your project. With this option, no sign-in is required. Save your selection click and copy the link. This is the link that you will submit to the module. Take time to check your link before submitting. Log out of your account, open a different browser window, and check the link. The gradebook will be available and you can see it says View Only. Take time to fully review your project before submitting. 